Hey guys, I'm here again. Today I'll be discussing a ubiquity discovery or how to actually get the, the land high P that comes with the ubiquity radio. I mean the default IP that comes with the ubiquity reduce. And default IP is 192.168.1.20. So there are some instances whereby um, we know the default IP that comes with this equipment and we, we, we tend to actually use it, use the default IP, knowing fully well that we know the default IP. But as time goes on as um, an RF engineer, you might uh, encounter an issue whereby a radio has been previously been configured and you do not remember the IP that was configured on it previously uh, which with that you we need to actually get the right IP address that was on that device with this application it make it easy for an engineer to able to remember those the IP that has been configured on that particular device before now. So that is what that is what I want to show us today. How to use this application to actually get the IP address that is on a, any ubiquity device. Okay, and how to use it to log into that particular device. So it's very simple and easy to use. So this is the application I've opened already, but I will close it, I will start, I will launch it again. So I'm closing it now. It's saying that do I want to close the application? I say yes. So here is the app here from yeah, it is on my desktop. And um, um, I'm opening it up now, it's open. Let me reduce this. Um, sorry about that. What did you talk? Sorry about that, and um, um, I will, I will, I'm just trying to reduce the size so that you can actually see what I'm doing. So, even before I scan, it has actually shown me the IP address that is, uh, um, my LAN is connected to here. Let me clear it. So, if, if you don't know the IP address, all you need to do is just launch the application to come up like this. It show you the product name, the IP address, the address address is also known as the MAC address. This is the radio name and the female version that is currently on that particular radio. So, when you scan, you wait for about uh, eight seconds was cancelled out, but it's already giving me what I want. So, this is the radio I'm using it to scan. It's Power Beam um, 400 M5 series, and this is IP1 is 161.20, and this is the MAC address. Here is the radio model Power Beam 4, Power Beam M5 400, and this is the, late, the, the current version uh, that is installed on the radio currently. So how do you use it to uh, your own advantage or have access to to this radio? So all you need to do is just um, double click on this click on this um, this line that has pop up information it will give us the MAC IP address of the radio. Just ignore this one. This is on my network, so just ignore it. So it's saying that the IP address is 192.168.1.20. So before we actually log into this radio, we need to be on the same network with the default IP. If not, we will not be able to um, log into this radio. After we have been on the same network with the default IP, you can just click Rescue Web User Interface. It will or you can just use a, I mean, okay, let's use, we'll use web user interface. It will launch, uh, it will launch this default IP address on the browser directly, or you can type it manually. 
So, um, I'll go to my LAN here, and I'll set, I've already set my IP address to the default IP, default IP, default IP, um, on the radio. So I have one as the one say one dot twenty two, and the one on the on the radio is one dot twenty eight, one dot twenty, and it's slash twenty four. That's okay. Well, to show that uh, we're on the same page, just need to just do a test ping and ping if we can ping 1.20. I see that one dot twenty. <coughs> excuse me, one dot one dot twenty is actually going. Okay, but that shows that we we can reach one dot twenty, as we've been shown here that that is IP on the radio. So I'll just go to the browser and just type on um, sorry about one ninety two one sixty eight dot one dot twenty when I hit enter it will load the IP address for me. So it's actually asking for my username and password to so UBNT UBNT. Hope I've not changed it. Okay. So I'm inside the radio using the default IP address that the UBNT has given to us. So another way to use this application is to instead of me <coughs> excuse me. You know, me manually type the IP address on the browser here. You can just click on this uh, web UI. So actually launch the the IP address for us on the browser. You can see my IP, my my cursor is loading, showing that it's trying to load it on uh, the browser for me. So. Is the browser is launching is not using the Google Chrome. Uh, I'm currently using. It's actually using the um, another browser, UC browser that I, I have. I have about three browsers on my laptop, so it's using another browser on my laptop. Um, is loading up, and you can see that uh, it has load. It has loaded. You know, it has load. With this default IP, I click it twice, so that is why it's giving me it's giving me um, the it's loading the web browser for me twice also. So I don't need to let me just close this. So you can just pause it, click on advance, proceed to this IP, I'll log in and uh, UBNT UBNT. Okay, so. UBNT, UBNT. And we are in. So, basically, that's just how to go about it. How to log on to the radio and we can configure a wireless card, configure a network, configure the advanced page service as well as the systems. Um, in the next tutorial, I will actually be talking about how to configure VLAN on the on the radio, how to increase the MTU size of the radio, how to create IP alliance, um, how to change this MTU size to higher value, how to create a VLAN on M5. I'll create a bridge and remove the one that comes with it previously. Basically, that's all I want to discuss today. I hope uh, it helps someone out there uh, who might need this. Um, instead of me to just keep on, just, uh, just keep to myself, I feel like I should discuss and share this. And somebody might be uh, in need of it. Thank you so much. Uh, I implore you to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and um, with that, you can get the latest um, video content I create. There, you can learn new things.
This kind of what I want to be sharing on this channel is all about um, radio frequency, uh, router configuration, microtech. I also I'm into web development. I'll be sharing that to programming and um, all IT related packages. Thank you, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.